Abbey Midrash is a truly remarkable place. It is the beating heart of our community. I have been coming to the Bet Midrash at least 20 years. I find that the Bet Midrash is a place of learning and I find that one can come in at any time of the day and find a chavuta. I come to the Beit Midrash. Um, for me, it's a place of learning, a place of exploring my own Judaism and what Judaism means to me, and a place for the community to come and explore and learn about their own Judaism. When I come to the Beit Midrash, I come, I talk with Ariel for a bit, and then we start learning. My personal interest in learning draws me in here as this is a place that, that's accessible and there's also a great community here within the Bay Midrash. Uh, there's an amazing diversity of, of, of ages and of people with different interests who all commune here and, and come together and learn and that's something that's quite special. And I guess it's also really special um, learning every week with Dahlia. Coming back from Shana, I really like, enjoy being a part of the Midrash because um, it was like a good way to ease back into the system, coming from full-time learning in, in like a seminary and then coming back to Melbourne, kind of, it didn't feel like it was so far away from Israel. From my point of view, Bet Midrash is bringing to the community a lot of things. Amazing to see how uh, adults and younger people come from their own spare time and spend in the Bet Midrash through learning, or through bonding time. I think one of the things that I, I love most about the Midrashah is seeing women of all ages come and learn in an environment that is really made for them. At the Monday Shur we have ladies from all of the community here. It doesn't matter where they belong, which shul they go to, but they come to the Bet Midrash for learning. The women's side of things in the Midrashah, like the fact that it's just as well established is really important because it gives us just an equal opportunity um, to grow and to really learn a lot. I feel like it, the Midrashah provides like a very conducive environment to learn because you've got all around you, you've got um, the shelves of Sparum, you've got other people who are also learning, engaging with Torah and having cover taught. Like it's, it's very easy for there just to be a Bay Midrash and say that there's an opportunity for the girls to have it, but like for there to be a well-established system is really important. One of the exciting things that we introduced um, last year was a Bat Mitzvah program, 12 Yisodot, 12 Foundations. And in the program, we really kind of say, what are the 12 big foundations in Judaism that apply to Bat Mitzvah girls? One of the exciting um, things that occurred last year is we had a group of former students, mainly from from Jewish day schools who are not members of, of the Mizrahi community. I think for us, um, we've all come from different schools and different backgrounds, all wanting a, the common goal, which is to learn. I think the Beit Midrash was a really good space because it's that home for people, like it's got that environment where we're never here alone. It's really beautiful to hear and listen to people um, learning next door and you feel that sense of community and you feel that sense of ownership of your Judaism. And our Beit Midrash is far more than just a building or a structure whilst we are blessed to have a really beautiful edifice. Numerous shiurim which take place as part of the Beit Midrash schedule, not physically inside the Beit Midrash. We've made an effort for the Beit Midrash to have an impact on the broader community and be out there. I give a shiur once a week in the city on a Thursday. And it's wonderful to see individuals who, in the middle of their day, towards the end of the week, with the great pressures that they're facing, still setting aside their time every week to come and learn Torah and to learn on a high level and to engage in a shiur. We have been doing a lot of teacher development seminars. So we actually have teachers coming in from the Jewish day schools. Um, we normally have a, one of our scholars in residence who then give, does professional development for Jewish studies teachers. And it's really a way of the Midrashah going out into the community. The Bay Midrash is also an amazing opportunity to connect with Chanichim. Apart from the weekly um, B'nai on a Shabbos afternoon, I think it's also really important to have that like informal learning environment where you're strengthening like their Jewish identity by like reading or whether it's not like you know textual things or whether it's just you know going through a, a topic or something. I think it may like it um, adds another level to your connection with your chanechim. For me to come from overseas uh, in purpose to to teach and to learn with uh, the community, it's amazing for me to work at school at the morning and to make connections with students and from that point to, 
take them into the Bet Midrash and to show them the whole world of learning and it's really powerful. We can see it clearly how uh, students from Yavne have the, this opportunity to come and not in school, not in formal um, education and just come and sit with us and to just to hang out and to learn and to extend more uh, his Jewish life. I've speaking to Rosh, speaking to Rabbanim in Yeshiva, speaking to like Rav Mordechai for example, um, he says from his perspective he's seen the impact of the Beit Midrash on our community, meaning he's seen not just a standard of, for example, from just a, a boy perspective, not just the skills they come with, but their attitudes. Meaning they're coming now to Yeshiva understanding what it means to be a Ben Torah. It is no secret that one of our great communal priorities is to keep hold of our young adults after they return from their gap year. Up to that age, we're very strongly structured. Baruch Hashem, they can come to a wonderful school and belong to a wonderful youth movement and grow up in our community. But once they've returned from that gap year and they enter university, it's important that we have within our community and with our hashkafa a Beit Midrash which can provide for those individuals who want to learn Torah on a high level. We don't want them to feel that they need to go elsewhere. We want them to know that here in Mizrahi they have a home. When we started this project, one of the first in the world, we had no idea, as we approach our 20th year, we would have been going consistently all the way through. Again, one of the few Torah Mitzion projects in the world, and it's been an outstanding success. Not only have we educated 19 years of young people and older people, male and female children, we have, as well as that, connected them to Torah Eretz Israel. And we have made a connection for them with Eretz Israel, with Medinat Israel. We've been the connection between either their passage going to Israel to learn in Yeshivot or Midrashot or on their return. It's the timid of the everyday activities that you really judge the community by. What is happening, the Beit Midrash, the people that are coming now to the Beit Midrash, we have longevity, meaning we're seeing there are people that are committing themselves to be B'nai Torah to be Kovea Itinotor on a daily basis, more than just uh, one year after they get back. And it's not just individuals anymore. We're seeing communities building. That's the future. That's what's going to guarantee the uh, continuity of our community. But the Beit Midrash is far more than a building, it is a concept. And the concept is that at the very heart of our community, we have high level Torah learning. We have a home where people young and old can come and open up a book with a Chavruta or attend a shiur or sit by themselves and engage in Torah texts. And the influence that the Beit Midrash has throughout our community and the wider community is something which is truly fantastic. For me, one of the great things about this Beit Midrash is when it becomes full, like on a Thursday night, it's really pumping, like from 8.30, like it's a really great environment. It kind of reminds me a little of my own yeshiva experience. It's not like a library, we're just studying and learning like dry text. The Beit Midrash really comes alive and the texts come alive. And also interacting with all the different people here and learning together with them is something that makes the learning here unique. I think it's just become a, a calm kadosh and I just feel very, very comfortable. Learning in the Bay Midrash is, is the highlight of my week. It's a really just an enriching part of my religious life in, in Melbourne. What I think is so special about the Bay Midrash is seeing everyone in the community come together in one small special space. Space. <laughs>